everybody, my name is Tasha Shabu and Isaac Barry from Barry Science Lab. A please for all your train for wait, no, no, that's outdated. A please for all your problems, math and science and history. And today we will be looking at uncertainty. But first, the physics baller. Actually, physics lecture. I wasn't sure what physics lecture it was. Seventeen or eighteen? Please, guys, seriously, can you remind us in the comments? I cannot bear this kind of uh, number. In fact. If you don't know what this symbol is, you'll learn it in this video. And I also had to do this for the percentage because when you plug this in, it gives you 1.9% for 17 and 2% for 18. So I just had to go crazy in here. Okay? So, to finish bar, about 2% filled up. So, hooray! If it's 18, then we just hit a new milestone. 2% of the series completed. Anyway, today we will be looking at, I'm kind of uncertain what we will be looking at, but anyways, we today we'll be looking at uncertainty. Now what is uncertainty? Well, to start, let's look at measurement. Well, when you're making a measurement, nothing is perfect. Let me tell you, absolutely nothing is perfect. Not even how my shirt is ironed. So, how perfect exactly is it? Well, first of all, there may be a manufacturing error when you have uh, are measuring something. Like your measuring tool may have been manufactured incorrectly. So there uh, can be a manufacturing error, an error in how the ruler is built. So, that's something we should note down. So manufacturing, <coughs> I don't know how to spell manufacturing. I'm gonna have a hard time in dispelling me. Manufacturing, uh, uh, so manufacturing error, which is an error in how the ruler is built. Okay, so the error made by your damn hand, well, that's another error. That's a precision error. Now these aren't official names, but these are what you can call. Uh, these are what you can call it, just names. So, you know, a precision error is an error in how you measure. Because you can't always align that zero up perfectly. So, an error in how you measure. Like, there are two things that you can measure incorrectly. First, you can put the zero meter because in most rulers there was a zero mark instead of it being the beginning of the ruler. So you can misplace the zero by a tiny bit. So that's one mistake you can make. And you can also not tell what the answer is. For example, let's say that you have a centimeter ruler and something falls right between the millimeters. So like, for example, 4.9 centimeters and 5 centimeters. So how are you supposed to measure how long it actually is? Well, you can't, at least not with a ruler of this precision. That's because every single measuring tool only goes down to a precision so far. And the smallest unit of length is the plate length. That would be like this compared to the entire memory of a computer. So, it's kind of chaotic. So the thing is, you cannot ever measure perfectly. Never ever in the, the, a century or a lifetime. So, how do we measure things? Well, we use estimates. Now, now uncertainty, can be measured in many different ways. And that's what we'll be looking at today. So, first of all, what is the precision of a regular centimeter ruler? Quiz, quiz, quiz. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. All right, if you've continued, then you should have got the answer. Because it is not centimeters. Mm, why? Well, have you ever noticed those small little marks on a centimeter ruler? Those are millimeters, which is one tenth of a centimeter. So, this actually has the precision of up 
to one millimeter. Bing! All right. So this is the thing uh, that precision is all about, man. So let's start by looking at some problems that we can use. Now, first of all, what the hell is the plus minus? Well, let's say that you have something like, let's say, uh, my calculator. So, yeah, like you've got all the big fat button thingies. And you've got the on button, very important. And yeah, that's my calculator. And so, now, let's say that when you measure it, it falls in between the category of 4.9 and 5 centimeters. Now, I know I already did this example, but you don't know what there's 4.95 or 4.96 or 4.97 or 4.9111111111. You don't know any of that. So, what can you do? Well, if it's between 4.9 and 5, you know that the minimum value can be is 4.9, the maximum it can be is 5. And so, you can take the average of those values and say that it's 4.95 plus minus 0 0.05. Plus minus means you're doing a specific operation on each one. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.